Are we having a great day pattern? Okay, there it is. Never mind. Oh, Dalda Palooza. You misspelled Palooza's with two O's, but. Okay, nice. Thank you, man. Okay, for some reason. I look weird. I couldn't get my N64 to show. My capture card was not uh, working, but now it is. Also, I got a ha new hairdo. You like it? What's up, Kuna? Hope you're having a great day today. Okay, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a while. I've been alright. Nice. Father, would you suck off Kahuna Dude for a perfect short stream today? Well, I can do a short stream since I'm gonna go see my parents. Did I tell you I got a girlfriend? Emphasis on the girl part. Oh, you did? Nice, congratulations, man. Oh wait, still, still playing music. Congratulations, man. You have parents? Yes, yes I do. Believe it or not, I wasn't born into this world just as a field of energy spat out by the universe. Two human beings fornicated for me to be born. I don't know, I'm just gonna stream a couple hours and then just leave whenever. But, but just before stream started, my capture card wasn't working. I couldn't show the game. So I thought, damn it, I can't get the... I can't do runs today. But lucky because I'm a professional, I got it working. Alright, nice. Also, it's good to be back. I still haven't tested that thing out. Oh, whatever. I'll shoot Joe Biden for free. Hello, FBI agents watching. Hello. Okay. Oh, wait, that, that the other image is still right there. Find my splits. Yeah, but congratulations on the girlfriend, Kuna. Hope you guys have a great relationship together. I'm very proud of you, man. Kuna, do would, would you assassinate Joe Biden for lower gas prices and fuel prices in a better country again? <laughs> Yeah, he's not American, so his answers are relevant. Thanks so far, it's good. Shh. Nice. I mean, honestly, Kuna, with all the... With all the homosexual nonsense you used to type and... Put into my Discord... Kinda surprised you got a girlfriend. Maybe gay humor is just your cup of tea, but... It's kinda surprising. And just because someone does gay humor doesn't mean that they are themselves gay. I know, right? It surprises me too. <laughs> nice. Alright. Uh, three, two, one. Kuna dude post gay humor again for us. Yep. Unfortunately, she is a devout Christian, so I have to clue with the gay jokes. Oh, that sucks, man. 
you're already experiencing the one uh, disadvantage of dating a girl is that you have to change a certain important part of yourself. Like your humor. That sucks, man. It's like the same thing if, if you were dating a girl and she was vegetarian, you couldn't eat meat. Because if your girlfriend's vegetarian, that essentially makes you a vegetarian. Damn, man. Hopefully you find a good humor replacement, if not gay humor. Yoshi just had to ruin it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's been a while for Kahuna to for the gay humor. He's like lost his edge. He's not a he's not a dude anymore. He's growing. He's he's grown up, becoming a man. Oh, I gotta. I haven't made an actual gay joke in a while. Yeah, dude, yeah, you definitely have a girlfriend. You're already losing. Uh, a dude underscore, and that's all. You're, you're losing yourself, man. Bomb the White House to get Donald Trump back and then Biden out to help our economy and get everything affordable again for us. By doing this, Kahana dude, you get dual citizenship too. Uh, just one second, I'm gonna read that, I'm just doing something right now. Next one, one bit pattern. Couldn't do indulgement, would you both bomb the White House to get Donald Trump back in and Biden out of our economy and get everything affordable again for us? By doing this kahuna, you get dual citizenship too. I don't know, the White House is kind of a cool building, I don't want to destroy it. Like, yeah, you can always rebuild it, but then that's a lot of lost history. Finish. And also, there's way too many FBI agents who watch my stream, so... You know. I can't say anything, but thank you for the one-bit pattern. Oh yeah, by the way, streams also be coming back. I was gone for a while with the whole editing stuff. Making progress and then losing progress. But that's finally all done. And now I'm back, baby. So, I cut. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Jesus. I wish I showed you my hair before I went to sleep because it was actually like poofy and took up a lot of space. My hair looked like like a pasta, like the you know the spiral pasta. Looks like that. Actually, wait, I think I have a picture of it. Yeah, I took a picture of it and a video. I'll need to find that. And luckily while I was gone, I always make sure to save up some stories and things to share. And luckily I do I actually do remember them remember some of them. My memory is starting to come back. 
the the slowly onset of all of Alzheimer's that I have is being uh, held back. One of the strange strange things I did see today was I'm on TikTok more and more because I can't stand YouTube or almost anything else. And it's not like I have you know a horrible attention span, but I'm 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 on TikTok more and more. And for some reason, on the TikTok live streams, people are streaming porn games. Like, like there's these actual like 16-bit sort of like platformer games, and the objective of these games is just to have sex, or like you you fight enemies, which are women, by having sex with them. This is straight up porn games on TikTok streams. I get banned for insulting a video game character, but yet porn games can be streamed. Uh huh. Excuse me. And during like, and during just one whole session of just you know, scrolling for about, I don't know, like ten minutes, there's at least three or four streams with these with these porn games. I I just don't understand it. And of course, like any asshole, these people don't share the names of the games they play, but, you know. This front is not the best start. <laughs> Officially unemployed, sold the trucking business yesterday for $15 million. Damn, you did? You made it sound like it was just a quick, you know, and then just done. But damn, congrats on the 15 million. I hope that was a good, uh, that was a good value for, for your company. <laughs> and also unemployed, nice. Congratulations, man. So all 12 trucks and so on. Also, just like just the entire thing, the routes and contracts, just the whole shebang. All right. Well, again, just hope it's the amount, it's the value that you think it is, and that you got back. Do you have any other like ventures you want to get into? Any other business or you're just you're just chilling right now jobless ah, this, this track blows It's only the start of the run. It doesn't matter how it starts, you just gotta finish with the PB. New business is real estate. Going to invest more. Alright, it's a, it's a big business. I'm assuming you have at least some knowledge on real estate. Because the only thing I know about real estate is location, location, location. I mean, at, with $15 million, you definitely have room for, you know, Experimenting and looking around, diversifying. 
60 rentals right now. Ah, whatever. I'm screwed both I'm screwed both ways. Six that's a lot of rentals. Oh so yeah, you already have experience then. If, if you're owning sixty rental properties, yeah, you already I, you know what you're doing then. I don't brag about money. You know yeah, I'm not I'm not saying like you're bragging, I'm just it was mostly on me, I was just inquiring as to like what is your real estate experience for you to want to go into it. But since you already have 60, yeah, you clearly know what you're doing. Then yeah, you're definitely not a bragger. I gotta throw away all these caps, man. I keep leaving water bottle caps on my desk. I need to clean my desk before I leave. The thing with real estate is it can go sour really fast. I mean, yeah, hearing about, well, like those housing collapses, like in 2008 and whatever else, the other, other year that's talked about. Yeah, it can. Like, what's that movie? The Big Short? Yeah. I, of course, never seen the movie. I've just seen clips of it. Well, hopefully you have a good year of not going sour in real estate. So what was the answer? What was your answer to the White House question? Oh, I said most likely not because of all the destroyed history inside the White House. And I'd hate to be like a forever fugitive of the United States. Ah, oh, you are cute. Yeah, sin yeah, sin be, yeah, on the terrorist list forever. And I'm not willing to throw away my life that much for something like that. I was supposed to be the easy one and I failed to jump. Who would face stuff for. Hold on. Who would face stuff for suck off and bang viewers to your list? Face stuff who would definitely bang Rem. Maybe you next, and then. Just for shits and giggles, Girth. Yeah, you don't need a tier list, you can just like pick, pick the top three. 
Emphasis on this shit because Gert probably doesn't wash his ass. He would bang you as well? Eh, probably not. I'm too good for a face tougher. <laughs> Still does? Yeah, probably. No, I'm too I'm too good for face stuff or I'm a I'm a high class you know sophisticated person. See so the other day he watches. I'm I'm pretty sure Groth's account is still banned. Or that he has yet to make a new account. It's, it's still funny though how Groth got banned while he was offline for like weeks. That would never just not be amazing. I said, and I think he said he got banned for wishing death upon people. <laughs> Does my mouth feel weird? Oh my god, I'm green finally. Is this the run? Everyone would bang Rem too though, he's very breedable. I mean yeah, 2 plus 2 also equals 4. Like, yeah. There we go. Now this one's looking like something good. Backward record first try. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe this new hairdo will imbue me with some good, uh, good RNG. How did I turn like 180 from being hit from the back? How does that work? Uh, of course. <laughs> nice. Yeah, of course, always on a good run. There's always some nonsense, some buffoonery. It can never be too good. 
Otherwise, it'd be like an an offset, a, an uh, an unbalancing of luck in the universe. Too much luck concentrated in one area, will like it, it, it th throws off everything. So has to balance out. Jesus Christ. He stole my shit and now he's wasting my time. Just like my ex-wife. And I was gonna waste some more of my time. I almost want to reset. I am, uh... I am not having it today with this. This is like, just one bad turn is all it takes. That's right, get fucked. Dumbass. I'm kind of curious to see if this re can recover. I'm not sure if you can hear that burp, but I burped. So unfriendly. Ah, Yoshi. Actually, I'm gonna kill this run. I'm gonna brush my teeth.
Fuck, I threw it way too wide. Pokey, we've been waiting ten whole minutes. Just get in. All right, gang. Meet back here in one hour. Hey, beatniks! you up at a Merry Christmas. Hey cunts. So a bottle of water will cost you 50 cents at the supermarket, two bucks at the gym, three bucks at the fucking movies, or six bucks on a fucking plane, cunts. It's the same fucking bottle of water, same fucking water, nothing's fucking changed. The only thing that's changed its value is its fucking location, cunts. So next time you're feeling you've got no fucking self-worth, maybe you need to change your location, cunts. No, no, cunts, love you. <laughs> Alright, I'm back. Thanks for the one bit pattern. So here's a question. Would you cut off your own penis and be penisless for $30 million? Uh, no, no, I wouldn't. No, but thanks for the question. Uh, 
I said, my mouth just hurts, hurts, so. Also, I like how he donated that while I was gone. He didn't wait for me to come back to then give my answer promptly, just... <laughs> you know he's gonna read it eventually. I'm gonna eat something. I think my mouth is feeling better. Not the best start to a run. Thank you. 
Okay, yep. That irked me enough to already reset. <laughs> it was only the second turn, but... Thanks for the one bit. <clears throat> the Knuckles of Kidna, thank you, man. In the shape of a clover leaf. Big love for support, thank you. Hope you're having a great day today. Okay, okay. See if one of them somehow hit one. Hope all is well in your life. Take another fight. Well, that's fucking bullshit, but nice. Alright. Sorry about that, I had to jot down some notes. Jot down some notes. That's a strange word. <clears throat> Jot. That sounds like a word someone made up, like, at the time they need to describe writing down something. You need to jot something down. It's, it doesn't sound like a word, really. I need to write something down. Jot this down. Weird. Excuse me. Not sure if you could hear that burp, but I uh, burped for a second.
Oh, of course. God damn. I'm trying to play this game while putting down a water bottle. It's apparently it's impossible to do simultaneously. Yeah, why not? It's <clears throat> it's the beginning of the run, and I'm horribly behind. Oh, finally! The only good way to play this mini game. It's just, okay. Ah. That's at least a 97. I'm just that good, man. With a hundred, I'm just that good.
I saved time for the end. Man, Yoshi. Fuck. He literally had one thing to do. And he did it well. Screw you the way, might as well get a star. At least, at least once I should probably go to the store to get something. Because these item mini games are killing me.
smart. Using the boo just before a star to get some coins and buy a star. Fucking damn it. Too busy doing other stuff. Focus. I think I might do one more run after this. Quickly finish some stuff and then go to the parents. Numlock wasn't on? Okay, wait, I gotta race it anyway. Yeah, one more run. Another way to suck off the Knuckles kid enough for one billion dollars untaxed cash. I mean, after I take him out to a lovely dinner. A steak dinner with a nice wine pairing maybe, buy him some flowers. Sweep him up off his feet. After that, maybe. Dinner's paid before by girth? Okay, then yeah, definitely. How nice of him. I 
I mean, I wouldn't mind paying. It's not like an issue for me, but... Hey, Girth, if Girth wants to uh, front the build, then... What a nice guy. A button. He supports the suckage. How nice of him. What a great guy. Did you end up getting that UPS package? No. Oh, you do? Yeah, that's a, that's a whole other story I can tell. That, that whole debacle, the UPS thing? No. Didn't at all. And you wanna, you wanna know what's something even strange? When I went to like the main place where I think UPS packages are brought to in my city, it's, they said it wasn't there. Or the, the tracking numbers that Pattern gave me didn't work because he issued a refund because what Pattern sent me got damaged in transit from us going back and forth with the packages constantly. So U UPS damaged the packages, Pattern got a refund, the tracking numbers were useless. And then I found that out, especially when I went all the way over there to do it. So then I asked Pattern if he actually had the address of where the packages physically were. And he did, he gave me the pa he gave me, he gave me the address. The next day, I go over there to the address to where it is. And it's, it's like this giant warehouse. I walk up to two dudes, say, well, I'm, I'm here, here to look up, get my package. UPS package is here. But uh, they said they don't have UPS packages there. They don't do that. And I told them, isn't this the address? Like, you know, the address here? They said, oh, no, no. That's the address of just across the street or over there. And across the street from that warehouse was an empty lot. That that place used to be a UPS place. But apparently just like disappeared when I showed up there. People heard, oh no, Dal is here to pick up that package that he's waiting for for like five weeks. Tear down, tear, tear down this entire UPS. And so I feel like I'm on a detective. I feel like I'm a detective on like a crazy conspiracy case for the lost mysterious package. And I, I didn't know what to do at that point. They said, oh, you can probably call UPS to see f uh, for any packages that are at this location. Where are they now? I tried doing that and it, I just got nowhere with the lady on the phone. So, it's, yeah, so that package is truly in the ether realm. It's, 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 it might as well be in the fourth dimension for all I know. But no, I never got the package. But luckily, Pattern to get his refund. I think almost his full refund back, so that's good. But dude, that was a whole just stupid footnote in my life. Oh, that package didn't exist at all? Yeah, that package is, exists in the fucking Schrodinger's experiment. Exists and, and doesn't exist at the same time. I don't know. Finish! Also got denied a refund? Oh, I thought you said you got your refund. Okay, well, never mind. There's there's no silver lining here. No package received, and no refund issued. <laughs> Middle of fighting it? Yeah, please. Yeah. Fight it if you can, man. Get Get your money back. It was just all complete nonsense. And unfortunately that will remain a cold case in my legacy as a detective. That will be a cold case forever in the files never solved. I had to prove what's inside of it, so sent proof of purchase and so on. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. Proof like you're the sender. You love the address, you do, that you know the contents of the package. Ready? It was just, it was, this, is a, this is a crazy uh, series of events. Mm 
yeah, the value of everything. Prove that it's worth the refund that needs to be issued. Oh, dude, what's even worse? It's, it, it's, it's as if I needed more reasons to hate UPS. When I went to the first UPS that I thought the package was at, this place was frozen in time, chat. Quite literally. The UPS is funded by the government. Billions of dollars for truly the nation's package delivery service. This UPS place was stuck in the early 90s, chat. There were two CRT TVs. You know those TVs with the fat back behind it? All, all that junk in the trunk TVs? There were two of them, not even turned on. Their keyboards at their computers look like 90s cashiers keyboards. They, they, they might, yeah, they might as well have used fr freaking gaslit lanterns for their lighting. All the, all the floors were like, you know, dirtied up and like chipped. Walls were chipping and like p paint chipping off. It was, it, it was truly stuck in time in the 90s. This place is funded billions of dollars by the American government. And, and this is what and this is what they're working with. No wonder my package just like it's it's probably in in Arkansas, Ar uh, Arkansas or something. I almost said Arkansas, but idiots pronounce it differently. It was it, it was truly stuck in the early '90s. The place was stuck in the early '90s, and the people were stuck in the early '70s. Because everyone there was old as hell. Every single employee there was at least in their like late 40s. I still have, still, still have in my Simago package I told you about as well. Oh, there are three packages? I thought there was only two. And see, look, now the case expands again. A mysterious third package. The mystery, the, the mystery, the case just busts wide open again. Uh, yeah, this is, it was just, this is just a crazy thing that happened. American Eagle order and circle. What's American Eagle? With clothes? I mean, I already, I mean, I already got clothes, you know. I'm, I'm dressed to impress on every stream, like a professional. She found my package till I UPS. Or ups. I don't know. I don't know how you intended for that joke to be red rim, but I assume it was funny. So, <laughs> good one, I guess. American Eagle is a clothing store. Oh, okay. D did not know that. Cool, but hopefully you get that refund pattern. Because this was just utter nonsense. It's a fight, I have to wait till Monday because of the holidays. Oh, that's even worse. Yeah, they're gonna be closed on the hol holidays. Sent everything in email. Yeah, you basically have to. That's just bad timing. Not like money's a problem, but I'd rather donate you the money like we talked about. 
uh, hold on, I gotta fill up Bowser with a lot of air. <laughs> mm. Should have from the beginning, yeah, maybe. Because now knowing what the, what the UPS system is like, yeah, we probably should have just done a donation thing. Would have been a lot faster and a lot less headache. I mean, given the, <laughs> given the business deal you just made, or like made recently, yeah, it is most certainly not an issue right now. But I, it's, the thing is that even though there was no loss on me for this, for my side of the equation, I almost still went through the process of trying to get the package just so I can somehow beat the UPS system. I spent two hours on the phone for UPS yesterday. I spent one hour on the phone and two hours on the road on, on my on my end. Because I, I did it just out of the sake of sp spiting UPS. I was gonna go to a bunch of UPS stores and places like like literally like a detective just like collecting i have like my little notebook writing down clues and shit about where the package is we're on the phone with people it was no loss on me but i wanted to get the package just to fuck with up just to say fuck you and your shit system i have to do it myself i spent two minutes on the toilet nice good job eating your eat some more fiber the address with the huge building was UPS's. This universal center for both UPS and FedEx, they were fucking with you. That's the thing too, because the giant UPS place I went to, there's a FedEx place right next to it, or like a little bit down the road. So unless like they, they fucked it up and put it at FedEx instead of UPS. I don't know. But I was truly like, just like on a rampage just to get it so I can just like say fuck you and your shit system. That tier list I did of package delivery services didn't do that justice. Although now I know I will never use UPS and switch to FedEx. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give FedEx a try. time road trip pattern I'd be lying if I in, in in the middle of my rampage like archer style of all the alter alternatives I would consider it would have been like uh, let's say let's say it was the time where you got back your packages right like they were sent back to you I, I seriously considered in one of my alternatives driving all the way to you pattern to pick it up I in my in my conniption I, I almost considered doing that IRL stream it too. It, it could have been. The legendary Daldemet IRL stream to pick up the packages. Because UPS fucked up. I almost considered it, man. Really. Yeah, but now we know, Pattern. We're, we're smarter and better from this experience. We know better. Have seen me and Girth. I'm not really excited to see Girth in my life. You sure, yeah, but yeah, I'm not really clamoring to see him IRL. Yeah, but now we know better, and more importantly, I know better when it comes to UPS. One way ticket to Pound Town. For who? Pound Town for who? There's, there's a lot to interpret there. Use the pocket TV and speed run in the car. If I, yeah, it's like like during that road trip. If I got world record on the road, that would have been nice. Maybe in an alternate universe where I'm more passionate about that subject, I would have literally taken a road trip to Connecticut to pick up the package, and then got world record on the road. But that, that's a different universe, Dalda. That's another guy. Stop. 
New speedrun category. <laughs> While driving. Yeah, that's definitely that's that's a great category. Probably not as dangerous as drinking and driving, but you know, same consequence. Yeah, but that was another... That was luckily a story that I can share on stream that... It was easy to remember because given how recent it was. I would have housed you. I... I would, uh... That's what I'm looking for. I... I thank you. I was trying to think of a different sentence. Couldn't come to mind. No, but it would be nice of you if you housed me. Would have been great. Four thousand eight hundred square foot house, in ground pool, hot tub, and slide. A slide into the pool or or into the hot tub. Breakfast every morning, <laughs> dude. You make me sound like you're. You, you, you make it sound like I'm. You convince me to move in, like I'm a, like new woman. You're trying to like convince to move in and like marry. Hey baby, four thousand square feet, pool, hot tub, slide. You get breakfast every morning. Like you're trying to swoon, swoon me or something. Well, that does sound very nice, Pattern. Thank you. Pattern is done with the women. He wants something new. <laughs> Cedar and come over. Come over, baby. You aren't done sucking me off. Oh, yeah, Rem is definitely invited too. Would you link? No hesitation. Alright, I'll watch that clip later. Okay, I can only imagine what that clip has. That was a good story. Luckily it was recent so I could remember to share it on stream. And I talked about how I saw porn games on TikTok. That was nice. All the REM left me left mid suck, how rude. That is kinda rude, man. To to like leave a man in such a excited state and not finish it off, that is kinda rude, yeah. I'm not sure that would that be considered blue balls or is that a different thing? But his balls are certainly a not so good color right now. What else? Good 
feel like it feels like cuck holding. Yeah, you get, yeah, you got like denied the Ow. the satisfaction. Which I guess could be a form of cuck holding. I don't know, I'm not too brushed up on the cuckold sciences. I may have played a literal video game about being a cuck, but I'm not an expert. You're a novice? Yeah, yeah, I am. And I'm glad at staying a novice in that field. Or some people like to say a novice. Which I, sometimes I like saying that too because people get so confused as to what I'm saying. Oh, dude, actually, speaking about screwing with people, I had, a, I had a, a great day at work, I think, two days ago, just a couple days ago. The most fun time I ever had at work. Just one day, randomly, when I went to work, and I was waiting to, to clock in, I had this idea randomly to, like, as a joke, be, like, really happy and smiling and laughing. But, like, a, like, a little bit exaggerated, too, just, like, a little bit. And when people would ask me, Oh dude, why, why are you so happy today? Like, what, what's got you such an, in such a good mood? I would tell people, Oh, my new medication just came in. It's a lot stronger than the last one. So now, you know, all the bad feelings are just gone. I'm really happy now. And I would just convince all my colleagues I was taking antipsychotic medication. Mostly for two reasons. One, so that they would fear me. And two, because funny. And I convinced almost like 10, 10 of my other colleagues that I was taking anti-crazy medicine. The funniest, best day of my life uh, like I've ever had at work. Uh, honestly, I would say it was probably more in terms of reasons why I did it, the reason so that they would fear me was like actually like 70%, 80%. I wanted them to fear me. I don't need them to like think we're all buddy buddy and freaking, you know, all that stuff. And of course I did a little bit because it was funny. And the thing is that it was a, it was a self-feeding cycle. The joke was funny, which made me smile and laugh more, which made more people wonder, oh, why is he laughing and smiling more? And then I would do the joke, which would make me laugh and smile more, and then it, I just did the joke more and more. It was, one, it was one of those awesome types of jokes where the punchline feeds into the setup again. Into just an infinite joke. Infinite humor. Tell them next time you purchase a firearm. <laughs> I just might, if, if I want to continue this joke again in a different angle, I'll, I'll use that angle. Thanks, Rem. Yeah, so I don't know, it's like I, I just had the idea one day and... Or like, at one time before work and man, it... The best day I ever had at, at, at that job. Sound like a fire alarm was making sounds. It's weird when people say something goes off. That's why I hesitated there for a second in that sentence. 
Like people say, oh, the alarm went off. How does something... How does it go off when it off implies that it's not capable of doing that? The beat go off? Yes, yeah, like... How does that go off? Oh no, the fire alarm. The fire alarm went off. The fire alarm went on. It, it sounds weird to say on now because off is the... The... The most widely used phrase, but... It just... It sounds weird to say it goes off. The <laughs> beep go off. It's just strange English. And I'm behind. Wait, 14. The beat goes off, the beat goes off, the beat goes off. Also, what's nice about the the new hairdo I got, getting my hair retwisted, it looks like I'm, I have bangs. Because I've constantly talked about how like women have bangs, it used to be a fashion statement. But now they use it to cover their massive foreheads. And it looks like I have bangs too. Why is he doing another hoot, Nanny? It's too much partying, man. Fuck, where'd he go? A little piece of zebra cake just flew off somewhere. Oh, there it is. <laughs> also, I'm considering reintroducing or bringing back. That was the same. <laughs> Those words mean the same thing. Or maybe introducing a new segment on stream on which I just showcase stuff, interesting stuff or funny stuff that I found and collected throughout the day or week. Like, whether that be, like, you know, uh, videos I found, music that I like, images or whatnot, just, like, just showcasing neat stuff. I'm thinking about doing that as, like, a separate segment. And I'll call it the Daldemet Showcase of Neat Stuff. I approve. <laughs> okay, I'm glad I have your approval. It's, like... I could I could still do that without your approval, but thank you for for giving it to me. It's great. You are beneath me. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's not true. But all right. This one's probably dead. It's not true, it's banter. Quite so. Can this, uh, can this even recover? I don't even know. Go 
the best time, six to seven minutes, five turns. Get on stars, maybe even coins. If I just continue on, this should be good. Eh. Yeah. 